Hello everybody, this is Seathorn, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time, we went and got taken care of the two great fairies we could get, one inside the Hyrule Castle and one up in the Great Goron Mountain. And this time we're going to go and search for the final spiritual stone. I can't speak for some reason, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, so I'm kind of a bit in a hurry to uh, record this one because i got to go to work in a bit and uh, I wasn't able to record earlier today because the power of my house went off. So that kind of sucks, but you know, we're on a good track right now, we're getting everything done, so... Let's do this thing. Wah. I have no idea what the point of that really like that wah was. But you know what I mean. Alright. Just keep on rolling, Link. Just keep on rolling. Alright. Now, as you can tell, uh. Oh, it's I believe right here we're going to get our first Magic Genie bottle. Yes, we can. Sweet. Da -da -da -da. You got a magic jar. That just refuels our magic health. Our, uh, I mean our magic meter. Woohoo, yeah. looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Seether. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting those, this water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Hoo hoo hoot! Alright, as you can tell, we could not be able to get past here because these bullets, and now that we have bombs, we can't get through, so that's sweet. Okay. And I just want to talk to this magic bean salesman. So you can buy up to 10 of these. Um, each horse is worth uh, starting off at 10 rupees, and it goes up 10 each time. So there's only a total of 10 you have to buy and you have to place these on here to later get them in the future so you can move on them. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. How about 10 rupees for one piece? Sure. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, so now that we got that, get that away. And I think I'm going to go and try to get another heart piece, but first that would require us to get to this chicken, this kaku, to be politically correct, in Hyrule Castle Field. Or the Hyrule, Ga Hyrule Land. So yeah. It's starting to get dark already, my god. Alright. And what you're going to do here with this chicken is you're going to want to not mess up like I just did. And, uh... Hmm. Okay. Avoid getting hit by those Octa Rocks. Alright. I want to jump over here. And you're going to want to take this chicken, I think, oh, I did this right, I forgot. Uh, sweet, okay, I did it. You have to latch off at the last second. Let's not mess up this jump link. Uh, yes, and we got the heart piece. I get this one whole heart container, I believe. Yes, it does now. We got four, we get an extra health, of, extra um, container of life. So that gives us six hearts in total, so we can afford to get hit few more times before we die, since I suck at this game a lot, so that's good. Alright. Okay. Sweet. And there is another heart piece coming up, but we can't get that until we get the item in the boomerang, which we'll get later on in the game, so yeah. Or could I use the chicken? I don't think I could use the chicken, but oh well. We'll get that later. Alright, let's use our, uh, let's play the song of time, or Zelda's Lullaby, I mean, my bad. <laughs> Keep getting those two confused, my god. Sweet. With that, it reveals an entrance through the waterfall. Nice. Alrighty then. Jump! Okay. Now we have entered Zora's Domain. Awesome. Sweet. All right. Now, we roll right here. We shall go to here and let's go and talk to the king, which is which is located at the top of this staircase. Let's talk to him. Oh my dear, sweet Princess Ruto, where has she gone? I'm so worried. Yes, so apparently Miss Princess Rudo's not here for some reason, so yeah. And uh, let's read this sign right here. 
High dive practice spot. Are you confident in your diving skills? Let's see. Alright. Let's talk to this man right here. Diving game. 20 rupees. Want to play? Yeah, sure. Okay. Pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You have only a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here. I'll give you a something very nice. So yeah, we need this in order to progress in the game. So yeah. We gotta get these five rupees that are located in there. And we got about, I think, 40 seconds. Start! Oh, we got 50. Okay. Sweet. Be careful jumping here, because if you hit that rock right there, you will die instantly. I'm pretty sure of that. I've never done it myself, but I've seen videos where it looks pretty funny. It's like in speedruns and such. So yeah, just dive down get these rupees. You need to collect them all back, so that's pretty cool. That's four. That's the last one. There we go. Sweet. Congratulations. I've got something very nice for you. Come up and get it. Come on, get it. Dinner's ready, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Alrighty then. Do I have any sticks? I'm gonna need them in like a bit. I do not have any sticks, so I'll go and collect one. Right, in one of these pots, I believe they have one. They have baby nuts. There's a stick. There's a stick. Sweet. Side hop up here. Okay. Sorry for a lot of clacking in my controller, my god. Sorry about that. Let's go and talk to this man right here. What a graceful dive. Now please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. All right. Sweet. You got the silver scale. Jump into the water and press A. You can dive deeper than you could before. All right. Then. And now we can dive deeper, which means that we can go and enter this hole that's right down here. To this wherever it's taking us. So... Let's dive down and go inside the hole. All right. We're in Lake Hylia now. We haven't entered this yet before, so this is cool. And it doesn't trigger the cutscene where it shows a new area until we enter through another way. Which I'll show in a bit. And we collected this bottle right down here, which will say, you got an empty bottle. Pre put something inside and use it. What, somebody's already in it. There's a letter, so we'll be using that in a bit. And if you didn't know, this is actually a letter from uh, Princess, I think, is her name is Ruto? Yeah. Zora. I don't know. Yeah, Princess Ruto, and that's her, you gotta give the letter to her dad. But before so, I want to take care of a few more things, which we can do in Zora's domain, which will require that stick we just got. I just had to go and collect. So yeah. I'm gonna go and collect a second one, just in case I do fail right here, so I don't have to re-enter the level. Go and let it respawn. Alright. Rupee. There's a stick. Okay. Let's get out our stick right here. And now we're going to have to find some fire. Get the stone right here from fire. That would be nice. There's still the clacking noise. Oh my god. Alright, so we're down here. Quickly. Put this on fire. Sweet. Now we're going to want to quickly, precisely get these four um, torches lit as well before, this, before the stick runs out. Do that. Get that one in. I don't want to roll because I think that's going to get rid of the stick. Do I have enough time? Yes, I got it. Sweet. Awesome. And that reveals a treasure chest, which will contain our next heart container. So let's see. Pretty cool. You got another heart piece? Not a heart container. Why did I say container? It's a heart piece. Oh my god. It gives us like five now. Alrighty then. Now that we got that out of the way, we can now go up and see the the king of the Rutos. So let's do that. I, did, I was right when I said I wouldn't respond. I thought I was kind of doubting myself, doubting myself so glad I was right. Yeah. Side hop here again. <laughs> it looks so funny. 
especially when you're in the corner and it messes up the camera. But yeah, so when you get out, bottle. We're going to show him the bottle with the letter. Ho, oh, this letter. It's from Princess Ruto. Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu? That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. But since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the altar to of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately, Zora. I said that really weird. I should have had a pause in between immediately and Zora, but you know. And just watch him take forever to move out of the way. Like, legit, you have to watch this cutscene for, I think, like, at least 15 to 20 seconds. It's crazy. Maybe 30 if I'm wrong. It's like watching paint dry. So, yeah. Seriously, my god. Now we can go in. Alright. Now he moves his fat butt out of the way. We can now go inside. Or go outside, I mean. To exit of this cave right here. To go and see the Lord Jabu Jabu resting. Zora's Fountain. Ooh. Is there anything I can do in here? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think afterwards we can go and see another great fairy, but yeah. So, uh... Oh, I did forget what I had to do. Uh, I made a mistake. I have to go back out, back inside Zora's cape and collect a fish, because you need to get a fish in a bottle and then drop it in front of Lord Jabu Jabu to suck you in to let you enter the third dungeon of the game. So we have to enter the third dungeon, oh my god! Okay. I'm just gonna go down here again. Just keep taking the staircase, my god. It's crazy. Alright. Let's go and collect this fish. Fish. Fishy fish. Sweet. Alright. Now that I didn't have to make that mistake again, I don't have to sidetrack again and go back up to the exit. So, yeah. Still so funny, oh my god. Great. Okay. Whoa, don't want to fall off the cliff. Or the edge, I mean. Alright. Sweet. Okay. Let's click what we need in these uh these little jars right here. These bases, I mean, the vases. Vase. Right. And we're good. Just a bunch of Deku seeds we need. So let's drop the fish in front of him. Here we go. Okay. That wakes him up immediately. Like, fish! <laughs> yeah. He's gonna suck us in too. Oh no! A first person perspective again. All right. Sweet, and we're now inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. It's not that pleasant to look at, but oh well. And that's gonna pretty much wrap up this episode. I guess next time we are going to go and see what we can collect or do inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly, which is the third dungeon in the game. Just wanted to let you guys know. So yeah, uh, this has been this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Next time we're gonna discover more in Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. I've been Seether Cord, and I will see you guys next time. Hopefully these Octoroks don't try to kill me. So, goodbye, everyone.